hello you guys welcome and welcome back to the underground we are going to get into another love reading we're going to see how you are being seen when it comes to love you guys y'all be sure to like the video subscribe put the purple hearts in the comments if it's resonating you guys and if you want to be entered into winning a free reading we have a raffle giveaway for free readings all you have to do is donate to the building fund oh guarded if you donate to the building fund, which is helping me move because I do need to move and it was kind of sprung on me last minute and I just need you guys help. If you can, that will enter you into winning a free reading. Okay, you guys, five, 10, 15, 20 dollars. Anything that you can give is greatly appreciated. And the link is in the description box below, you guys. We're going to do the drawing on Lionsgate to see who won. So just keep that in mind. But it seems that somebody sees you as being guarded. Ooh, someone is obsessed with you in Christmas. Something is significant about this holiday. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, maybe a Capricorn. This could be someone's birthday or there could be some type of significance around Christmas. But I feel like there is a person who's obsessed with... It's like they're obsessed with what's going on with you. They may want to move on from something that happened between the two of you guys and kind of like move on from it, laugh about it. Or like basically it feels like somebody wants to have a situation be water under the bridge. But I feel like because they could be feeling insecure about themselves or something, there could be a situation where they're trying to control or manipulate situations with you. This may not be just love interests who are interested in you. This could also be people around you, like friends or family members, people who see you getting attention when it comes to love, people who see your life moving in a more positive direction. Oh, that card was reversed. Interesting. I knew there was a card in there that was reversed. I feel like because a lot of you guys are seeing who you really are, you're understanding who you really are. You're setting boundaries with people. I feel like it's causing a lot of people around you to want to like be your friend or kind of like be in your energy. Okay, let's go ahead and see. How is the collective being viewed? Spirit, how is the collective being viewed when it comes to love? How is the collective being viewed? The grass was fake. The grass was greener because it was fake. It was fake grass. AstroTurf. Hmm. How is the collective being viewed when it comes to love? Self-reflection in the reverse. What? Take a moment to reflect. Oh, my God. Behind the scenes upgrade. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. Things are happening that you can't see. And your life is about to have an upgrade. So you don't know that your life is about to have a major upgrade, you guys. Oh, my God. I feel like you can sense it, but you don't necessarily see it 100%. Like, you don't know exactly what's going to happen or when it's going to happen, but you know something is going to happen. And I feel like people are viewing you that way. People around you know that things are moving forward in your life in a positive way. And it kind of feels like their perception of you is diluted or distorted by their own insecurities. People could be seeing you as very um, vain or egotistical with the self-reflection in reverse. It feels like along with these two cards behind the scenes and upgrade, it feels like people are seeing you in a way where it's like you're very disconnected, you're very distorted, or you're not really taking accountability for your actions. But I don't think it's because you're actually not doing that. I feel like it's because you have a lot going on behind the scenes that people can't see. You may be trying to create this upgrade in your life. You may be trying to do more with yourself, work harder at work or build your career, boost up your business. Whatever it is that you're doing when it comes to self-development is because you're not involving other people in it. So they feel like you're being selfish or they feel like you may not um, be as aware of yourself that they feel like you should be. But that's not for them to decide. I feel like you've made a choice to create boundaries with people and deny people access to your life because I feel like they've overstepped boundaries and that's why you could be feeling very guarded, okay? How is the collective being viewed when it comes to love? How are they being seen? Blackmail. Someone could be getting blackmailed. 
So someone may feel like you're getting blackmailed or I don't know what this is. That's kind of crazy. Life purpose and blockages. Yeah, people around you could definitely see that there's other people who are trying to hold you back. I feel like this is a combination of several different energies when it comes to people around you. You have some people who want to like make you the enemy or make you the villain possibly in their story and they want to like basically act like you're not taking accountability or you're not really being self-reflective or aware of yourself because they don't have access to you but then you have other people who realize that you're trying to follow your life purpose or find your life purpose and that there's a lot of things that are trying to hold you back so I feel like people are viewing both aspects of those situations it's not just that they're, they're all negative people. I feel like you have pos positive people around you. There are also people who feel like certain decisions you made that you may regret those decisions with the grass is fake. Some people may be viewing you as like having blockages in your life because you made certain decisions that you shouldn't have made. I feel like there's a lot of nosy people around you trying to like run your life or they're trying to insert themselves into your life when that's not where they need to be why is the grass was fake here why is the grass was fake ace of cups and the hierophant Ooh, so oh y'all look so there's somebody who is seeing you as like basically like maybe you thought you were going to be in a commitment. Maybe you thought you were going to get married. Maybe you had somebody who was showing you a lot of love and support and commitment in a relationship. And someone around you is feeling like that was fake. Like, I don't know if this is an ex or something, but it kind of feels like an ex who sees you move on. And then they see you break up with that person. And they're like, oh, yeah yeah that's why the collective broke up because it wasn't a real connection kind of feels like somebody who's salty mm -hmm. seven of cups and the six of swords yeah this is a person who's confused as to why you moved on from them so it doesn't have to be an ex it could be a friend ex-friend ex-lover someone from your past someone who feels the disconnection of your energy from them like they feel you disconnecting from them they you may not talk to them but it's like they're watching you. Okay, hold on real quick. Ooh, I told you. Yes, definitely. I knew there was a reason why I was supposed to do this reading. Page of Swords. I just randomly felt like I needed to pick the card off the top of that deck. And it's the Page of Swords. So I feel like this is about people who are watching you. This is about people who observe you. This is about people who are trying to find information on you. And I feel like there's people who are a part of your past or people who you've disconnected from that kind of feel salty about situations. One more. <gasps> yes. Temperance. This is people who are watching things balance out in your life. And I feel like they have some type of like uh, salt. Their shoulders are salty. They have like some type of chip on their shoulder or something like that. This is a person who sees you have a lot of options. They see you have a lot of options and you're moving forward towards those options. This could also be somebody who feels like you're going into the unknown when it comes to like the decisions that you make in your life. They may feel like you're going into the unknown. Like that you don't really have a plan or you don't really have like a concrete um, course of action, but you're being guided towards basically whatever you feel like you're being guided towards by spirit you're being guided towards your life purpose you're being guided towards the decisions and choices and people places and things that you feel like you need to move towards and it's just intuitive and I feel like someone is wanting to appease their ego to make themselves feel better to say like oh collective is confused or they don't know what they're doing or they don't know where they're going in life but I feel like they're literally saying that while watching you balance out your life and have some type of divinity or divine timing or they're they're watching you have some type of angelic experiences in your life and then they're kind of like in denial about it okay what's the self-reflection in the reverse for how the collective is being viewed Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody who I feel like is arrogant. There's an arrogant person around you who feels like you owe them an apology or they may feel like you're spoiled in a way. 
This person may feel like you get everything you want or that you want everything you want. Like, collective just wants what they want. It's like they see you as, like being selfish page of cups and the king of swords somebody feels like you owe them an apology that's what it feels somebody feels like it's up to you or it's your responsibility or you should take responsibility to make something right in a situation but this person is delusional this feels like it could be a friend or a sibling maybe even for some of you a child feels like a platonic connection with someone with the king of swords and it seems to me that someone wants an apology or they feel like you owe them an apology. But I feel like they're the one who really knows, like this person knows that they need to apologize or they know that there's something that they're being arrogant about. Platonic, romantic or professional. It feels platonic for this particular portion. It feels like either there was a friend who was jealous of you that saw a good relationship happening in your life and it may not have worked out. So it's like, because the situation didn't work out, they feel like, oh yeah, that's, that's always what happens to collective because they're delusional. Their head is in the clouds or something about your decision making that makes this outside person want to talk about you or want to critique you and judge you very harshly. But in reality, I feel like they're being delusional. Yeah, something just banged outside. So I feel like that's a confirmation. It's like this person wants to tell you, collective, you can't always get what you want. You can't always get what you want, but you actually do get what you want. They're watching you get what you want, but they want you to feel like you can't always get what you want. That's what it feels like to me. What's this blackmail, though? Ooh. Eight of Wands. What's blackmail? What's blackmail? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, someone may feel like you're trying to force them to make a decision or other people could be viewing you in a situation where they see you being forced or someone is trying to force you to make a decision. OK, yeah. Ten of swords and the seven of swords. Oh, my God. Pain, disappointment, lies, deceit, betrayal, backstabbing. It seems like there's like you're being seen in a way that basically people may feel like you're allowing what people have done to you to kind of like hold you back or make you confused about moving forward. That's how you're being seen. But this could be a person who's trying to do that to you and they feel like they're creating some type of blockage in your life purpose. But spirit is coming in to remove that blockage. I'm not exactly sure what it is because you could have people who very much so care about you and they want you to see who you truly are with the self-reflection in reverse. There's there's a person or there's people around you who love and care for you. And they feel like you don't see yourself in the true way that you are. They may feel like you're hiding from your true self or they may feel like you don't see your full potential. They may feel like you sell yourself short. They may feel like you accept less than what you deserve or that you don't go all in 100% for what it is that you want because of the negative things that have happened to you and the pain and the hurt and disappointment that you've experienced. So it's like there's somebody who's viewing you in a way where they want you to like they want you to move forward. They want you to, you know, do better for yourself. They want you to have more in your life. They want you to be happy. And they feel kind of like protective to me over you. And they don't want you to keep falling for these okie dokes with these situations that look good on the surface, but they're actually fake or phony or with people who are fake or phony. They want you to see what you truly deserve so that you can have what you truly deserve and so that you won't be in a situation that is beneath you because they know that you've been kind of stifled when it comes to your growth or blocked when it comes to your growth because of what people have done to you in the past. And that makes you question like what you say, what you do, how you communicate, you know, moving forward, it makes you question who you are. So there's someone who wants you to basically like snap out of it so that you can have what you truly deserve. I don't know who that is. feels like a, a platonic person, like a father or 
maybe a mother or a family member or a friend or someone who you know has your back. But then for some of you, you have people viewing you in a way that's distorted because they're the ones who are trying to cause this pain, okay? And they're trying to make you feel like you don't know what's going on or they're trying to make you feel like, yeah, that's what I thought, collective. You knew that you weren't going to get that job. You knew that you weren't going to get that promotion. You knew something wasn't going to work out because you, you're not being real with yourself and all this other stuff but it comes from an arrogant place it be, it comes from them being arrogant towards you okay so let's see y'all be sure to like the video you guys subscribe while you're watching the premiere and afterwards you guys okay so let's see guardian angels archangel spirit guides and ancestors are the highest vibration for the collective when it comes to love how you're being viewed Who's viewing you that way? What are their intentions? Why are you being viewed that way? The person's next actions, your advice, and what's hidden. Okay. And then we have the four wands. Oh, wow. Overall energy is the four wands. So I feel like this is about a relationship or this is about a relationship coming in, a marriage that you can have in the future. Um, this could be about a home or a job, but it's coming together. Two people coming together accomplishing things together like building empires together four of wands maybe even taking relationships to the next level so this could be about the relationships that you currently have with people like the relationships in your life how these people are seeing you this could be about you know love interests that you deal with already or people who come in who are prospective love interests and how they view you in the situation wow and the ace of cups we got the ace of cups out here twice y'all look at that it seems like there's a relationship that's coming in or a connection that's coming in that's very loving and supportive and you may have someone from your past like an ex-friend or an ex-lover or a family member who you are disgruntled with who feels like you're fake or feels like the connections that you have aren't real so it's like you're being seen as the chariot. You guys are being seen as moving forward really quickly. You guys are being seen as people who create solutions when there's a problem. You guys are being seen also as like a team player for a lot of people. I feel like this is positive energy. You move really fast or you're very successful when it comes to what you do. I also feel like people see you as being bigger than what you actually are. What, and what I mean by that is kind of what I said about the person who cares about you. It's like you have people who see you as being able to do more than what you actually do or that you should have more than what you actually have or that you should be further along than what you actually are. And they feel like you're not actually there because of the things that have happened to you and what's holding you back. But I feel like you're being seen as the chariot. You're being seen as very much so in a power position, taking control. And it could be because you have these supportive people around you kind of trying to give you pep talks or, you know, make you feel better about yourself. Even though you've been through some type of heartbreak or something like that. I feel like some of you could have a friend who is supportive of you, who basically experienced you deal with some type of heartbreak from a connection with someone who you thought was going to lead to commitment. You thought it was going to be long term. You thought that it was true love and they may have seen you kind of get heartbroken or they saw like this person mess with your head in some way, shape or form. And they could be very happy that you're coming through as this chariot energy or they're seeing you move forward because they know that you're finally like getting over this situation. But I also see like people in your life who basically don't want you to move forward and they see you moving forward and people who meet you I feel like they see you as someone who's very much a go-getter like you move quickly you don't sit on things you don't procrastinate okay so who's seeing you that way it could be a Pisces but it could also be a family member with the ten of cups definitely it feels like you guys have family members who could support you and then you have some who are jealous of you some of you have friends who support you and some who are jealous of you but the Ten of Cups is the person who's seeing you this way. So it could either be a friend, a family member, or possibly a Pisces, maybe Cancer or Scorpio. Okay. 
What is this person's intentions? The Hierophant. Wow. So we have the Hierophant and the Ace of Cups out here twice. So someone's intentions are to commit or be consistent in your life. They're, they, someone's intentions is to have some type of consist, consistency or bring consistency to your life. There could also be a person who wants a family with you and wants this commitment with you with the Ten of Cups. And they because they want this Ten of Cups, they see you as the Hierophant. They see you as the person who they want to commit to. Because you have the Ten of Cups, Hierophant twice, Ace of Cups twice, and the Four of Wands. It's very, it's very much so, to me, leading towards some type of commitment that someone wants to have. You may be the masculine energy. You may be the one who's coming towards somebody wanting a commitment and they want a commitment with you too, or they want a relationship with you. Okay. So you're being seen this way because of the four of cups. Why are you being seen as the chariot is because of the four of cups. Yeah. So it's like people see you going after your dreams now because you're dissatisfied with like what you've received thus far, you're not happy with what you received thus far. And that's why the energy came up to where some people who have these diluted images of you or these delusional perspectives about you, this is why they feel that you're ungrateful or that you don't take a look in the mirror is because they feel like you basically going after your dreams or, you know, transmuting energy in your life trying to have something better in your life working towards something really pushing yourself to reach a goal those salty people see you as like being um, unaware or lacking self-awareness because they feel like you're ungrateful for what you have i feel like there's somebody who feels rejected by you with the four of cups and that's why this person sees you as being ungrateful because they feel like you already have everything you want and you still want more. And it's obvious that you have everything you want and they feel like you're not grateful for it or you don't realize it. It kind of feels like a person who you rejected in love or rejected in friendship who feels like, why doesn't the collective want to be my friend? Why doesn't the collective want to be with me? Why don't they want to continue a relationship? And you may have decided that you didn't want that relationship because you were basically feeling as if there was more out there for you or if there was something better for you, you didn't want to settle for it. You didn't want to settle for a fake ass. Oh, excuse me. You didn't want to settle for a fake friend. You didn't want to settle for a relationship that was not giving you 110% of what you needed. I feel like you're a very much... You're a person who's a go-getter. You're a person who does not settle. You're a person who reaches for the stars. And you're not afraid to do it. So it's like, it kind of feels like whoever is feeling rejected by you is salty because you didn't want to settle for whatever they were giving you. And they have a problem with it. So that's why they could see you as this person who's kind of like flighty. Okay. The person's next actions are the seven of swords. So we're going to have to clarify what that means. But somebody is planning something. They're creating a strategy. Oh, y'all heard the horn. Somebody's definitely creating a strategy. I feel like there's several people who are creating strategies when it comes to the way they want to connect with you. All right. And then your advice is the five of wands. I feel like your advice is to learn from the situations that you're in right now. Be grateful for them, but take as much knowledge as you can from the things that you're experiencing at this time. Because even if someone is plotting or planning negatively to do something towards you, I feel like you can still learn from that situation. Everything that you're experiencing right now when it comes to love and relationships is a learning experience. And that's why I feel like the four of wands came out at the bottom. I feel like there's a salty person who wants to sabotage a relationship. Okay. You're moving forward and accomplishing goals. You are basically, I feel, coming towards a person. It's like you're kind of colliding with a person. I'm hearing that Tina Turner song. I'll be thunder. Doom, doom, doom. You'll be lightning. Doom, doom, doom. I'll be thunder. Doom, doom, doom. You'll be lightning. Doom, doom, doom. And we'll collide. Doom, 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 doom. On dry land. Mm-hmm. 
And it was like a bunch of thunder and lightning in that song. So it could be rainstorms or a lot of thunder and lightning. There could be a lot of storms that feel that you feel like are brewing when it comes to your relationships with people. But it's just a symptom of what's been going on beneath the surface because we saw that behind the scenes card and all of that is coming to the surface. So the conflict in relationships the back and forth, maybe the banter that you have with people who you enjoy talking to. All of these things are learning experiences of the dynamics of people and how relationships work. I do feel that there is someone who intends on having a family with you or they want to make some type of commitment. They want to have a committed relationship with you because they love you. But there's also a person here who's mad that you didn't choose them that wants to try to sabotage that. And that's either a friend, a family member or an ex lover. That's what it feels like to me. What's hidden, though, I feel is that you need to keep your independence in any relationship that you have. I feel like spirit doesn't want you to lose yourself in any relationship. They want you to continue to focus on your goals and what you've been working to achieve. Everything that you've been achieving is because you have the skills, gifts and abilities to do so. Everybody can't do what you do. And that's why someone here who is feeling salty that you rejected them or that you don't want to be friends with them anymore is mad and feeling like you don't really know who you are. You know exactly who you are. They don't understand who you are because they don't see the same vision. They don't have the same fortitude. They don't have the same drive and ambition that you do to achieve your goals because you can't just, why, why would you want to be with somebody? If you're doing all these things to achieve goals, why would you want to be with somebody who accepts the bare minimum or settles for things or is just mediocre? You're not mediocre. So you don't want to be with somebody who's mediocre. And I just feel like spirit with this four of wands and this nine of pentacles, they really want you to maintain your autonomy in whatever relationships that you're in, whether it's romantic, prof professional, <laughs> or platonic, they want you to keep your autonomy. They don't want you to lose yourself. Okay, I'm hearing Eminem, lose yourself in the music the moment you own it. You better never let it go. Ho, you only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow because opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better. That's what spirit is basically saying. Mm. What's this chariot? For how the collective is being seen. Let's see. Y'all be sure to like the video, guys. Okay? What's the chariot for how the collective is being seen? Okay, so first of all, you could be dealing with Sagittarius energy or just divine timing from the universe. You could also be dealing with a strong Taurus. Possibly, uh, I want to say Virgo or Capricorn, but I was trying to say Libra. Then also Cancer as well. Okay, what's the chariot? You could be any of those signs. What's the chariot? What's the chariot? Four of cups. Ooh. And then the four of cups is down there. Ooh. Spicy. Yeah, because you're not happy about what's happening in your life. You're being seen as the chariot. People are upset that you're moving on or moving forward from them. Yep, the sun card. You realized that something was a burden or that you were forcing something or that someone else was forcing something. You weren't going to force it. Yeah, empress. Yeah, people are seeing you as like ungrateful for what you have. They feel like you have a lot and you're ungrateful. The sun card, like that you're not seeing the blessings of what you have or you're not seeing how blessed you are. But I feel like also this could be a jealous friend. You could be very abundant. You could have a lot of uh, people who are interested in you. Three of wands, six of pentacles. Yeah, people see you as expecting to have more, expecting to get more, but I don't see why there's anything wrong with that. I just feel like you're not letting people in your business. So they don't know the ways that you show gratitude. They don't know the times that you, you know, write in your journal or you pray or you talk to your spirit team or you take walks and, you know, really reflect on your life. Because these people are not in your life because you've purposefully removed people from your life because they've tried to overstep the boundaries that you've set and control you. So I feel like there's a lot of people who are seeing you in a negative light because you no longer allow them to have access in whatever it is that you're doing. And all that they see is that you are this emperor, empress energy because the emperor is sitting on the chariot. So that's all that all that they see is that you have all of these things and they feel like you're ungrateful for it or that you don't appreciate it. But they're not there to know what you do to appreciate what it is that you have. They're just making assumptions because they're looking from the outside, looking in. I also feel that people see you as basically um, 
freeing yourself from some type of disappointment or negativity, like the people who actually love you and care for you, they see you as very happy. You're growing and I feel like you're happy about whatever's going on with you. And they see that you're finally like getting over some type of hardship that you've been through. Some of you guys could be pregnant as well. Okay, people could see you as moving or relocating. They don't like the fact that you're moving or relocating or changing jobs. But um, there people are watching you from a distance. They know that you're going to be happy. They know that you're going to be abundant. They know that you are going to receive a lot of things in your life. And I feel like a lot of them are dissatisfied by it. They're dissatisfied that you've decided that they can't be included. That's what the majority of the energy is that I'm feeling. But there's also good things as well. There's like someone who is watching you from afar that wants to give you something. They may want to offer you something. Um, this could be a promotion or a raise or a bonus that's coming in, but it could be with love when it comes to someone that you're going to meet, making you some type of offer because you make them happy when they felt unhappy. You help them kind of move forward from some type of pain or sadness that they were feeling because of their life situations. And I feel like they're going to come in and basically offer you something. Okay. What's the 10 of cups for who this person is? Seeing the collected this way. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's somebody who is delusional. It's like they gave low effort in a the connection. They didn't really work hard for the connection. I feel like they don't work hard for a lot of things in their life. But see, that's the projection that I'm talking about. It's like somebody wants to act like you don't work hard for anything. You just get everything you want and then you're ungrateful for it. But that's actually how they are. And they're projecting that on you. And they're focusing on something. They're focusing on the negative of a situation versus like the positive of a situation because I feel like they're kind of delusional, okay? And it feels like to me that it's because you didn't want to settle for whatever this person was trying to give you and it was the bare minimum. Yeah, like coming towards you, not wanting to actually work on things. Yeah, the death card. This could be somebody who actually wants to try to change their ways or they're telling you that they're going to change their ways. Oh, five of Pentacles. Yeah, there's definitely someone who you've kind of like put a boundary up with. They feel left out in the cold. They feel like they are abandoned. They feel like you kind of started holding back from them and it, it triggered all these insecurities. So they may be being reckless and things like that. This person could also be talking to their family about what's going on. But with the three of wands reversed and the eight of Pentacles reversed, it's like somebody who's very negative. I also feel like you have a person coming towards you who is not, they're not going to focus on the negatives that other people are saying about you or what they hear or things like that. They're just going to focus on what makes them happy. And that looks to be you. So it's not going to matter what people say. It's not going to matter the type of looks that you get. Or the type of gossip that may be spreading or that they may hear or that someone may try to tell them to ruin a connection with you. I feel like there's a person from your past who's talking to their family or friends about how they, you know, basically ghosted you or it. But it's because they feel abandoned by you. Whoever this person is, they feel insecure. So they feel like they have to go out and like <clears throat> basically like, I don't know, get over the situation. Whoever this person is viewing you negatively is someone who it's like they don't really put in a lot of effort. They don't really take a lot of action and they may play mind games to try to make you feel ghosted or try to make you feel unimportant. Like, why would you want to deal with that? That just doesn't make any sense to me. Okay. What is this person's intentions? Six of Swords. So somebody's intention is to come towards you with the Six of Swords. Somebody wants to move on from the arguments or negativity. They want to move forward in their life in a connection. I feel like you don't see that someone definitely wants to reconcile with you. The Moon. Yeah, there's somebody secretly coming towards you that wants a commitment with you. They're watching you. They're trying to figure out who you're talking to or if you've met someone new. That's that page of swords. These are all people who are like watching. Yeah, page of cups.
There's somebody who's trying to figure out if you've moved on to someone else. They're trying to see if you've moved on to someone else. They're trying to research your social media possibly or just do research to figure out if you've moved on to someone else. They secretly want to come forward. I also feel like whoever this salty person is, it's like they're telling people one thing to try to save their ego or save face, but then they're feeling something else. But they're not putting any effort into it. And I feel like there is someone who you're meeting, who you've met. You probably are keeping this a secret. You may travel to see this person. Y'all may have some type of like liaisons at nighttime, honey. Okay. Okay. Um, but I feel like they want to commit to you. I feel like this person is not, they may not be saying that they want to commit to you right away, but I feel like that's how they're feeling. And this is someone who you're keeping secret from your friends or your family or other people. Some of you have family members who don't believe in you. Some of you have family members who they're. Mm, it's like they're trying to make it seem like you're lazy or you don't do things. It's like you coming through as the chariot. It seems like you're proving a lot of people wrong or you're busting through a lot of people's illusions of you. Like people may believe that you're that you don't work hard. People may believe that you're ungrateful. People may believe that, you know, nothing ever works out for you because you're delusional or whatever. But it's like whatever you're doing is proving these people wrong. And that's crazy. The Nine of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's intentions. I don't know about this, y'all. With the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands, it kind of feels like someone wants to hold on to you so that they can continue to like abuse you the way that they've been abusing you. I don't know if that's for everybody, but it's for somebody. Some of you have a person who you rejected, who feels like they always get rejected. And it's like secretly when they meet people, even though they may want to have a relationship with those people, they're allowing the rejections from the past to kind of govern their actions in a connection because they're still holding on to the pain of being rejected by other people. And then if you pick up on that intuitively and it gives you that red flag, you kind of feel like, I don't want to go into that because you're not healing from the past. And then it's like they categorize you as the same as the people from their past when in reality they brought it on themselves because they're not actually healing from that pain. And that could be another person that y'all are dealing with or just another variation of the same person. I also feel like there's someone who may be nervous about connecting with you, but they're actually getting over that fear. They don't want you to know because I feel like they want this to be a secret. Somebody wants to have a relationship or a connection with you, but they don't want you to know what they're planning ahead of time. And that could be what the seven of swords is. Like the person who I described to you that basically categorizes all the new people in their life the same way as their exes because they haven't gotten over the trauma. There's another person who has those same types of issues, but instead of like making the new person pay for it, they don't give up. It's like they're still determined to find love. They're still determined to believe that love exists and they want to basically like start over fresh every time even though they may be a little nervous or afraid because of the things that they've been through. And it's like, they're still aware of it, but they, unlike the other person, they don't allow it to affect them. Okay. Wow. Yeah. The world card. Somebody once cycle, once the cycle is over with whoever this person is, who I feel like you haven't met yet, or who you could have just recently met. Whenever a cycle is over in their life, they don't bring it into the next cycle. They just let it end. There's definitely somebody who you're going to meet and you don't know that you're going to meet this person and they're coming towards you wanting commitment. I feel like they want you to enjoy yourself. They don't want you to have to make any plans or like if you're the masculine, this could be how you feel about someone who you're going to approach. But I feel like somebody doesn't want the other person to have to worry about anything. So they're going to take care of everything. Maybe not financially, but they're going to try to, like, get your mind off of whatever's stressing you out or make you happy in some way. That's what it feels like to me. 
So why is the collector being seen this way? The Four of Cups. What is the Four of Cups? Ooh. Child. The King of Pentacles. Yeah. It's like people know. That's the thing. Like, I don't understand why people are being delusional. Because people know that you're a go-getter. People know that you're going to go after what you want. People know that you're very successful. You've always been successful. And you're good at what you do. You have talents, gifts, skills, and abilities. And you don't feel like you're getting appreciated for those things. And I feel like people know that. King of Pentacles. Ooh, the Five of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, but see, there's people who have petty intentions. There's people who don't want you to reach these goals. You And you hear the lawnmower. Here they come. Every week, they come at a different time. And I just don't understand. He's cutting the front. Sometimes they come on Thursday. Sometimes they come on Friday. Sometimes they come on Wednesday. I don't know when they come. This just don't make no sense, child. Y'all be sure to like the video, subscribe. Thank you for being here, you guys. If y'all can donate to the building fund, please click the link below for the GoFundMe. And it'll enter you into the raffle, okay? Now we're just going to try to move forward. Ooh, y'all. That's why they trying to interfere. This death card and the star card. Because you're transforming. You're transforming into this star energy. People know that you're a star. And they want to try to block you or stop you from being that. And I feel like it's because of their ego. You're being seen as ungrateful because people try to give you the bare minimum and manipulate you. And you don't accept it. So, of course, they're going to see you as ungrateful. Of course, they're going to try to, you know... Of course, they're going to try to, like, coax their ego or, or soothe, their, soothe their ego. Because they see that you are transformed. There's a lot of hope that you have for greater. <clears throat> and I feel like you're not afraid to face death to get what it is that you want. Like, you're, I'm not saying it in a negative way, but it's like you're not afraid to face the changes that you need to make. You're not afraid to do the self-reflection. That's why I said this. Th I knew this was delusional. You're not afraid to change and to morph and to mold into who you need to be. You're transforming into an influencer or a healer. Some of you could be like readers. Some of you could be spiritual practitioners. Some of you could be nurses, doctors. Some of you could have a very healing nature, maybe a counselor or a psychologist. Some of you are just transforming into someone who has a lot of power and influence. And that intimidates someone so they feel attacked by it with the nine of wands and the five of swords. There's somebody who feels attacked by who you are. But that's not it's not your that's not your problem. That's not your problem that they feel attacked by who you are. That's their own insecurities that I, I feel like I mentioned earlier. And for whoever's seeing you as ungrateful, it's like they know. That their insecurities are what's causing them to have this negative reaction towards you. But they don't want to deal with it. They would rather project it onto you. Mm-hmm. And I feel like for the people who love and respect you, they see that aspect of you, like that go-getter nature. They see it as you basically, like, not letting negative things get you down. And they see it as very inspirational. They're watching your transformation. They're watching you evolve and they see it as very inspirational. And I feel like you're inspiring to people around you who are watching you. So never change who it is that you are, you know, unless you feel like that change is going to create improvement. Never feel bad about wanting to follow your dreams and reach your goals. Because just because other people don't understand it doesn't mean you don't know what's going on. Okay. So what's the seven of swords for their next actions? Okay. Y'all be sure to like the video. Queen of Wands. Ooh. chariot four of swords somebody's coming towards you to try to heal a situation they want to plan to try to heal a situation because they're very attracted to you you're very confident oh the king of wands jeez six of cups yeah the chariot again wanted to pop out too um so someone's next actions this could be a person from their past that's coming through the most heavily 
it's like they're planning on coming towards you. They feel like there's some type of match here between the two of you guys. But I don't like the fact that it came out like this. Like if the King of Wands came out first and then the Queen of Wands, then it would be like this. Like y'all are facing each other. But it came out the opposite way. So it's like your back is turned, their back is turned to you. And I feel like they're focused on the past and what you did to them. So this could be a person who does feel very connected and drawn to you. They may even feel very attracted to you in a physical way. But I feel like they don't put forth enough effort, okay? Hence, the Eight of Pentacles reverse. They don't put forth enough effort, and they may be very inconsistent. And I just feel like they're too focused on the past and what you did in the past, and they have some type of plan or a strategy. The World card and the Four of Pentacles, yeah, it's somebody who's holding on to something that has ended between the two of you. They're holding on to it. They haven't let it go. They haven't let go of the past, or this is somebody who hasn't let go of their ex, I don't like that energy. I, I don't like their energy. What else? What is this seven of swords? What is this person trying to do? Ace of Pentacles. They're going to offer you something. The world card and the seven of wands. See? I don't know. I feel like this is a person who wants to block you from having a new beginning with someone else. But I feel like you see it clearly with the Queen of Swords. You see this person clearly. Yeah. Oop, King of Cups and the Fool card. So, yeah, this is a person. I feel like you could be focusing on the King of Swords. Like, you're looking. I mean, King of Cups. You're looking at the King of Cups. You see the King of Cups clearly. Or you see this person clearly. Or there's an opportunity that you have received or that you are going to receive soon from someone new in your life and someone else is trying to sabotage it it feels really strongly like someone else is planning on trying to sabotage new beginnings in your life yeah knight of swords and the seven of pentacles they want to run they're, they're running behind you you're making investments and plans with other people you're putting your energy into other situations and somebody's trying to come up behind you and like strike you down or say something to you to block you interfere again okay lord your advice. What's the five of wands for advice? Ooh, I knew it. Five of wands. Ciao. So your advice is to watch out for people who try to bait you into an argument or conflict. That's what I feel like somebody from the past is doing. While you have another person or new people in your life, whether this is a friend or a family member or an ex-lover, while you have new people coming into your life, that person wants to ruin it. They want to try to slow you down, slow you up, make you feel anxious, make you feel nervous, make you feel ashamed of yourself. Like somebody may be trying to make you feel bad about your choices. And I just don't feel like you should. Yeah, four of pentacles. Okay. And the eight of cups. They're still holding on to the fact that you walked away. Or they still want to try to hold on to you so you can't walk away. Yeah. And I feel like somebody is ashamed of their actions. Your advice is to understand and see clearly what you need to see when it comes to these family members or these delusional people. I feel like a lot of you are realizing that a lot of people don't have your back, but that's also showing you the people who do. You know what I mean? It's like you have to see who doesn't have your back so you can clearly like separate your energy and you can pay more close attention to the people who do. Yeah, your intuition is telling you that there's something that you don't know or there's more information that you need to find out. I feel like intuitive messages, intuitive nudges, intuitive like visions are being confirmed. You're starting to see proof of the things that you've seen in your dreams. And I feel like the fact that you've disconnected your emotions from a lot of people is making them angry. They're going to want to argue with you. And spirit is trying to tell you your advice is to pay attention to this. Learn from this. All of these things are learning experiences. And to see the confirmation that's coming through, like the spiritual confirmation, because you've created boundaries. You've protected yourself. You've put up your guards with these people. And the way that they're going to respond and react is going to be very telling as to how they truly feel about you or whether or not they're using you. Okay, nine of pentacles for what's hidden. Knight of cups in the tower. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
somebody's about to come in and and somebody's about to express these feelings to you they may even ask you out on a date suddenly somebody may ask you out on a date like all of a sudden you're gonna have a lot of suitors i feel coming towards you it could be an aries scorpio sag cancer pisces emperor energy You're being brought together with an emperor energy all of a sudden and temperance. I told y'all with the temperance, people are watching things happen in your life. People are watching your energy and your situations literally be transformed right before their eyes. And I feel like a lot of people are salty about it. And oh well, because if you're meant to be with this person, yeah, six of pentacles. If you're meant to be with a person, that's who you're meant to be with. But I also feel like spirit doesn't want you to lose your autonomy and get distracted. I feel like you may be dating several different people because all of a sudden you may have two people come in. And then this person from the past wants to all of a sudden give to this. Yeah, magician. Yeah, magician, two of swords, four of swords. That's six swords. That's what I thought it was, but I forgot we already had that over there. Somebody's going to take action towards you all of a sudden. Now they feel like they have what they need, but you don't talk to this person or you're ignoring this person. They're going to try to manipulate the situation so that you pay attention to them. I just feel like right now it might be necessary because it feels like the person coming towards you is someone who wants to sabotage you from a new beginning. So it seems like there's someone who you haven't met yet. Page of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Fool card. It feels like to me that there's someone who you haven't met yet. Okay. And whoever this person is that you have not yet met is coming in and it's, and it could be sudden. It could be happening during Sagittarius season. It could be happening during Scorpio season. December was the car. I mean, Christmas. Technically, technically Christmas was the car. So there could be somebody coming in later this year. That's actually, oh my God. Y'all, this is not a coincidence. I'm just letting you know. There's someone coming in in December or later this year, Scorpio season to maybe Sagittarius season that is going to be more in alignment with you, who's going to want a commitment, who's going to want to relieve some type of stress or pressure off of you. But this person from the past is going to try to come in first and ruin it. And I feel like the grass was fake for them. Like they thought it was going to be better off. They thought they were going to be better off without you. But I feel like they're realizing that that's not true. And they want you to feel the same way. But you probably don't feel the same way. So they have to try to force it. What else does the collective need to know, Spirit, when it comes to these messages? Talking. Interested, awaiting, me interested, awaiting messages. Text calls, emails, talking more. So you could be getting more acquainted with a person yeah healing heart healing heartbreak toxic toxicity or addiction abusive relationship not enough lacking confidence self-sabotage ego and fear frustration yeah so i feel like mm, <coughs> i feel like you're healing your heart from a toxic connection and you could be talking to people about it okay what else I also feel like somebody's coming in and they want to talk to you about that connection. Okay. What else? Passion. Yeah, you and a new person are talking more. Insane chemistry, sparks, and having fun. Equal interest, burning desire. But this person in the background, this is their energy doing this shit. With this whole lawnmower thing. This is their energy doing this. And I know it seems crazy and woo-woo, but nothing is a coincidence when this camera turns on. And you see how I went into the distance when I said something? As soon as you get to talking to somebody, as soon as you get to trying to, you know, get to know a person, this person wants to come in and cloud your vision. Whenever we start talking about this new person, here comes this damn lawnmower. You get what I'm saying? So pay attention to that type of stuff. Healing heart at the bottom again. 
partying, time with friends, having fun, happily single, living in the moment. So you're going to be doing some type of activities with your friends. You may be out at festivals this summer. You may be, I mean, well, in the United States this summer. So you may be out just doing things with your friends. You could be just partying or having fun. You know, whatever it is that you that you enjoy doing. It doesn't have to be partying, but you're just doing things that you enjoy. And I feel like you're coming in contact with people. And this is a form of you healing and focusing on yourself. And there's someone who's going to be interested in you. And they're going to want to talk to you because they feel a very strong connection to you. And there's a lot of passion. Okay, what else does the collective need to know? Ooh, blowing kisses, child. Unconditional love, giving and receiving. Fairness and love, affection return. See, it feels like somebody was being very childish. They didn't want to reciprocate some type of love towards you. And now you're going to have somebody coming in who does. Yeah, and look, mask, hiding true feelings, pretend and dilute, gaslight and personify. There was somebody who was putting on a mask. This is how they truly felt about you. But they wanted to wear a mask. And I feel like it was because of control. They wanted to have control. Mirror, mirroring each other, self-reflection, introspection, inner wounds. See, but this person is now realizing, I feel like this person is now realizing the effects of them trying to wear this mask. Because... They may have tried, they may have even tried to act like they were getting over you. They may have even tried to deal with someone else, but now it was, it was fake for them, but now it's actually happening for you. And I feel like it's real. And that could be what that grass is fake card is. Y'all be sure to like the video. Let me take a thumbnail. That's very interesting. Yeah, that could have definitely been a situation where this person was trying to act like they were moving on from you. But in reality, they... They really, the, the the situation didn't pan out the way they thought it would, or it wasn't really what they wanted, but they tried to like fake like it was because they wanted to make you feel a way. But there's definitely a lot of chemistry coming in when it comes to a person that's coming towards you. Okay, real quick, real quick, real quick though. What's this talking? Wait. What's talking? Ooh, a lot of talking. You're going to be communicating a lot with somebody. Could be a Capricorn or during Capricorn, Sagittarius season. Could be, uh, I was about to say, could be a chariot, Lord. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Cancer or an Aries or a Capricorn. But it's somebody who's really, it's that emperor energy we saw over here. Could even be a Scorpio. But it's someone who's very much so driven, just like you with the chariot. I feel like you have a lot in common with this person. And that's why there's a lot of attraction between the two of you. Yeah. Ooh, could be a Capricorn. Ooh, yeah. Somebody who's very driven when it comes to their success. So that's why they're not threatened by you being driven. Because they're driven too. They're a boss too. They understand what's going on too. They're not like salty about it or they're not a flunky. Yeah. This could be somebody who's even in the public eye with the six of wands and the star card. Page of swords again. This is somebody who, who is hoping and praying and wishing for success when it comes to a relationship with you because they're very attracted to you. You've piqued their interest. Okay. This is a new person. What's the passion? page of swords yep i feel like you this person is attracted to you not just because of your body but your mind you make them think differently about things that they never thought about before somebody is watching this happen they're being nosy yeah knight of swords yeah it's like the way you communicate you make this person think when it comes to yeah seven of pentacles again and the judgment it's like you make somebody Think of new things in life or you make somebody like look at life differently. I feel like that's why you're very attractive to them. And because you're a go getter, you're not lazy. This is somebody who doesn't want to deal with like a gold digger or someone who is codependent. They don't want to deal with people like that. Blowing kisses. We have the king of swords, five of pentacles and the queen of cups. Yeah. There could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, as far as Earth, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, air sign energy, who is feeling abandoned or feeling left out in the cold. 
by you giving your affection to someone else. Okay. Yeah, seven of pentacles. It's like you're investing in something that doesn't have to do with this person. It could be you investing in your work. It could be you investing in a relationship, but you're investing in something that doesn't have anything to do with this person. And I feel like you giving your affection to someone else, this person feels that. And they, they really don't like it. I'm telling you, they really don't like it. They're trying to spy on you and figure out who you're talking to. Someone may even be watching your social media and see that you're having a lot of success. And they may want to come back in and try to talk to you about things. Okay. But you're going to basically shut them down. Like for some of you, this is just talking about you accomplishing your goals. And you have a lot of people who are watching you who didn't believe that you were going to accomplish those goals. But you actually are. It definitely feels like family or friends, people who grew up with you, siblings, things like that, who always saw you talk about your dreams, but they never believed in you that you would make them come true. And because you didn't immediately make them come true as an adult, they just wrote you off and felt like you weren't going to do it. And now you're doing it. And these people are going to want to come back and talk to you when you have this success. And they're going to want to talk about how much they believed in you, that they always been watching you the whole time. But it's like they never communicated with you or they never gave you any support. But they're going to try to make you think that they were supporting you from afar. So what you need to understand is that they weren't and that they're going to trick you into thinking that so they can be in your space. But you already know what's going on. I feel like your intuition is going to tell you. Yeah. Or, or they're going to act like they were doing the same thing you were doing. Like if this is a person when it comes to love and you meet someone else and you're focused on that connection and they see that they may try to come in and ruin it, but they're going to say like, Oh yeah, I, I had to heal. They're, it's like, they're going to be trying to mirror you with the things that you've been doing in your life, but it's really not the truth. It's more so it was their insecurities and they thought that you were being ungrateful and they thought that you didn't appreciate what they were giving you, but they were only giving you the bare minimum. So how does, how does that show you that they feel about you? They obviously don't think that highly of you if they feel like you should accept the bare minimum. But they're going to try to make you think that it was because they wanted to get their life together or because they wanted to heal. And that's not necessarily what it is. What else does the collective need to know? Mm. I replay our conversations over and over. What else does the collective need to know? I'm afraid to contact you. What else does the collective need to know when it comes to these messages? I hide behind material things. Interesting. So someone is replaying your conversations over and over in their head. That could be this talking. Because you're not giving them attention. I knew exactly what I was doing. Boom. That's what I just explained. That's what I just explained. I hid who I really am from you. Yeah. So either insecurity stopped this person from coming towards you or ego. But I feel like for a lot of you, it's ego. They knew exactly what they were doing when they basically kind of like put you in this position where they abandoned you or try to manipulate a situation. They knew exactly what they were doing. What is, uh, mm, what is this? I'm afraid to contact you. Why is this person afraid to contact the collective? Ooh, Ace of Wands reverse. They feel like you're not attracted to them anymore. Ooh, they feel like they may have lost you forever or that you know that they got with someone else yeah three of pentacles they may know that you know that they were dealing with another person because i feel like that grass was fake is a projection somebody was trying to project on you yeah they could also know that you're with someone else and they're afraid to contact you but they kind of want to mess it up or that's how they're going to be feeling in the future near future feel like this person realizes, though, that you've moved on and that you're either becoming something big in your life or you're dealing with a real person who means something to you. And I feel like their higher self doesn't want them to mess it up, but they kind of want to mess it up. I hid behind material things. Oh, excuse me. Seven of Wands and the Star. Yeah, they 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 hid who they really are from you and they hid behind it. So this person used money or material things, clothes, shoes, cars houses whatever they hid behind this so that they didn't have to be vulnerable with you they hid behind all this stuff so that they didn't really have to show you who they truly are and they regret it because now they realize that's why they lost you because they weren't being true to who they are what's i replay our conversations the world yep now that it's over 
They look at those messages. Yep. When you were talking and everything was happy secretly, they look at those messages. Like whatever you did, texting this person, talking to this person, whatever pictures you sent to this person, however you guys communicated, they replay those messages over and over and over again. Like it feels like every day, like they go back and they read them and they look at them and they think about how like things were and they're afraid to contact you either because you've increased your station in your career and you're accomplishing things. Maybe some of you have moved or... Because they think that you're with someone else, even if you aren't. They're just afraid that you're not attracted to them anymore, either because what they did or because you've moved on. Or because if you have gotten to a better station in life, they could also feel like you're going to see them as not worthy now. And that's why they feel like they should have been vulnerable with you. But they knew exactly what they were doing. So it's like spirit is basically showing you this card. Because they want you not to feel sorry for this person. Because they had a choice. Like, every time... Like, <laughs> I think I said that in the beginning of this reading or another reading about people's free will choices. And when they make certain free will choices, it either creates... It was the last reading. It either creates a karmic situation or a soulmate situation. They can choose. You can choose. Right? But I feel like this person chose toxicity and negativity, lies, deceit, betrayal, you know, n you know, not being authentic, not being their true selves. They chose that and it created a toxic situation. So you didn't really know who they truly are. It's kind of like, I heard somebody say this and I'm not sure who I heard say this, but it's kind of like when you want to attract somebody to your life and you're wearing a, a mask, like right here, how is that person going to see who you truly are? Like if you're wearing a mask and you're not being your true self and you're trying to like distract a person from who you really are and you're you want to come off a certain way that could be your soulmate but because you don't live authentically or because you aren't showing your true colors or, or showing your true face in a situation the person doesn't know who you are and they don't recognize your soul so that's why it's so important not to be afraid to be who you are, because the more that you are who you are, the more that you love yourself for who you are, the more that you embrace who you are and you live it proudly and loudly, the easier it is for that person who's meant to be with you to find who you are. And I think that this person had an opportunity to have a good connection with you. And you guys probably do have some type of connection on a soul level, but I feel like because they didn't want to show them their true selves to you, it didn't work out. And it turned into something toxic and karmic to where now what they've been asking for, what they've been praying for, they basically block their own blessing from it. Okay. Anything else that the collective needs to know? I'm on a spiritual journey. You have awakened me. What else does the collective need to know? I'm ready to come clean. I can't lose you again. What else does the collective need to know? I didn't know if my family was going to accept you. This came out in a short. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm going to put a ring on it when the time is right. I'm only staying here for my kids. Nothing else. Nothing else. I'm making my way out. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like this person is going to try to come clean when somebody else proposes a relationship or commitment to you. That's what it feels like to me. What else? I didn't feel like I was on your level. I told y'all you're a boss. I'm very insecure and you are different from the rest. They didn't mean anything to me. I only want you. I'm learning how to love myself now. Thanks to you. Yeah, but they knew what they were doing. I can't stop myself from seeing that. They knew what they were doing. Yep. Now they're feeling in their head about it. Uh, about their feelings. Yep. There it is. Now they're feeling like they lost this major love connection. This this is crazy. They feel like they they lost this major love connection. Now there's there this is like I feel like this is a person who you may have thought was gonna lead to commitment. Like this could really be strongly talking about because I'm gonna reflect back. This could be strongly talking about a person who you guys felt like was going to give you or offer you some type of commitment. And then maybe all of a sudden they didn't do it or something changed or there was a shift and the cars are beeping outside. 
I feel like this is the main person who is coming through who may be upset or salty about you coming in contact with this emperor energy, this empress energy, whatever. And they're like in their head about the choices that they made. And they're worried about coming forward and expressing these feelings to you because they know if they don't, they're going to lose you. And I feel like that's a part of why they were so insecure in the past is because they, it's like they may have been trying to compensate for whatever they felt insecure about and it caused them to appear to have a mask on and it basically ruined the connection. That's the main person that I feel like is coming through in this reading and they may not want to ruin something for you in a malicious way, but I feel that they want what they want and if they want you and they feel like they want another chance and they don't want to see you with someone else, they're going to try to come through and like give you something or offer you something. But I feel like this is possibly going to happen either after you met someone new or it's going to happen right before you meet someone new. And you're going to have to be very careful <clears throat> about the situation, because what I feel like is hidden is that spirit wants you to stay single because there's going to be two people who you're going to have to choose between. And all of a sudden, someone's going to offer you these feelings with the Knight of Cups over here or you're going to have to choose between the new person and the old person. And I just feel like spirit doesn't want you to jump the gun just because this person comes back around telling you all these things that they wish they would have told you because spirit wants you to know that they knew what they were doing and that they could have done this before, but they let their pride and ego get in the way. So it's like spirit is kind of saying that they don't deserve to have first dibs. They don't deserve to have first dibs on you because they didn't take you seriously and they didn't do what their higher self and their guides were kind of like urging them to do. They went against their better judgment. So spirit is basically saying them that you don't say spirit is saying to you that you don't owe them anything. And then also I feel there's salty people around you, either ex friends, family members, or ex lovers, not this specific person, but there's other people who you may have been talking to that it didn't go anywhere because you just weren't feeling them or they just maybe weren't your cup of tea. Maybe you had too many differences and all of those people are hovering around watching and kind of like praying on your downfall in a way or possibly gossiping about you. So I just feel that it would behoove you to be very cautious about who you let back into your life from the past. Okay, Shungite, detox your life, and Aquamarine, go with the flow. Yeah, I feel like Spirit just wants you to be very careful of the people who you allow back into your life from the past because not all of them have your best interests. And you may even have someone from the past who wanted to be with you, but you weren't feeling them or you didn't like the way they were moving. And they may try to come back and sabotage a relationship and talk mess to your new partner. But I was picking that up earlier, and I feel like whoever that new partner is isn't going to listen to that. So just be aware. I also feel like you could have an ex-friend or a petty friend or a jealous friend who feels like you're ungrateful for what you get. But really, they're jealous of you because they wish they could get the attention that you get. Feels like a friend or a sibling or somebody who's in your age group, family member or a friend. And they may try to ruin a connection with you and someone else telling your secrets. So be mindful of what you tell the people and be mindful of who you allow to be around this new person coming into your life. Okay. What is the advice? Moonstone, live your purpose. And we have life purpose. Black Kyanite, set strong boundaries. And then take action, Red Jasper, along with detox your life with Shungite. And go with the flow with Aquamarine. So it's like spirit wants you to just live your purpose. They just want you to take the action that you feel like you're guided to take that your spirit team has given you and not to let other people interfere. Allow the flow to flow and then go with it. And if there's anyone in your life who you feel like is not in your best interest, they want you to set strong boundaries and detox those people from your energy. Sunstone, take pleasure in the things that you do. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your life. And Amazonite, loosen your grip. So, yeah, don't try to control situations in the near future. Just kind of let them flow and enjoy yourself. And when you feel like you need to set a boundary with someone, don't be afraid to take the action to do so. Because I feel like it's basically reinforcing your purpose and it's reinforcing your boundaries to the point where it's like 
bringing you law of attraction. It, it's like bringing you positivity when it comes to law of attraction because you're basically saying no to the things that are not for you and you're accepting the things that are, okay? So I hope that helped you guys. Be sure to like the video, subscribe. If you guys can donate 5 10 15 or $20 to the building fund, it is greatly appreciated, you guys. I really, I really, really need your help. And we're really close, though. Honestly, we're really close to our goal. And every dollar that you donate counts towards you entering into the raffle. So the more you donate, the more names you have entered and the more chances you have to win a free reading from me, either a one-on-one -on -one or pre-recorded, whatever your choice is. And we're going to do the raffle on Lionsgate. So I'm so happy to see you guys here. Share the video with someone who you think may need to hear it. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Put the purple hearts or any of your favorite color hearts in the comments. Engage with the content. If you can't donate, that's how you can support. And I really appreciate y'all. And that's it. That's all. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.